Right, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add sounds to your Flash file. Uh, I get most of my sounds from flashkit.com um, where you can find sound loops, uh, sound effects. Sound loops are very good if you've got a background sound you want because it will just keep looping and looping. Um, sound effects are good if you want like a cheer for example if you get a question right or a boo if you get it wrong. Okay, so that's flashkits.com. Have a look around. Um, <clears throat> right, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to import a sound file. Um, I downloaded one called Drama. Um, and this goes into our library. Um, in our library is where we can find all the things we've created, like our buttons, our graphics, our um, movie clips, and things like that. So for the sound, we need to go to right click it and go to linkage and click on export for action script. This is just so we, it's just a name that we can call, um, kind of like a variable name that we can call, uh, so uh, it can link to the library. So I'm going to keep it as drama.mp3 because it's easy to remember. In the actions layer, I'm going to head over and create a new function called play music. Um, and this is a function. Okay. In this um, function, I'm going to say drama sound, this is the variable name for our sound now, uh, equals a new sound. And it's um, going to be played here, so this. Um, the drama sound we need we now we now need to attach a sound to it. So drama sound dot attach sound. Uh, it's called drama dot mp3. Remember to use the double um, double speech marks, and we're going to call it again. So drama sound um, dot uh, start. It's offset of seconds is no because we want it to start from the beginning. If you say four, it's going to start four seconds into it, and I'm going to loop it 99 times. I'm um, going to close off this function. I'm now going to call it. Okay, so the first thing I want to happen when you load it up is going to play the music. So uh, play music. Okay, so that's the first thing it's going to do. So when we run this, it should play our sound. Now. Okay, and it keeps looping on. So you can see that it's quite. You know, you can see how it works. Stop that now. Okay. Um, of course, you know, you may not always want the sound to keep playing. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm just going to create a button, um, a new button. I'm going to just call it stop sounds. So MC stop all sounds. Okay. In the action script, um, all I'm going to simply put is the um, on clip. Event, uh, enter frame again, uh, and uh, when it's pressed, so this dot on press equals function, uh, and it's quite simple as stop all sounds. Okay, it's an in inbuilt function into Flash. So stop all sounds. Um, when we click that button, it will stop all sounds. So I'll just run it again. Okay. It's looping through, and now all I'm going to do is stop it. Okay? You don't have to do it in a button. You can uh, put it into a, a function if you wanted to. Um, it's, it's entirely up to you. But that, that's basically the how you put sounds into your flash file.